What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves a real dope team to showcase for you guys today. Today, we are rocking out with a Gen 3 team only that features Life Ward Rayquaza, Choice Scarf Kyogre, and Weakness Policy Metagross. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by smashing that like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, yo, scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button. Only takes a second of your guys' time, and it really goes a long way to support me as a content creator. But like I said, this team right here is Generation 3 Pokemon only. I saw it, and I was just like, I have to use it. Plus, I love pretty much all these Pokemon on the rank ladder. We got Ludicolo with the Swift Swim. We got Metagross, which is just a beast with weakness policy. Rayquaza, who's ton of fun to use. Kyogre, who's one of the best. Swampert, always dope. And Sandwai, who is a great support mod. This just works well. It just works well. But let's get into the team preview. Let's get started here in that top left corner, rocking out with the one and only Sableye. Like I just said, Sableye is such a good support mod. It learns Prankster, and it just can roll out from there. It's got the black glasses as its item, and then it's rocking Foul Play Quash to actually make whatever opponent we use that on go last in the turn. Sucker Punch for first turn priority, and Will O Wisp to burn physical attackers. Right next to him is going to be Ludicolo. Ludicolo is so good in the rain due to its Swift Swim ability. It will double its speed and it can just get after it that way. It's rocking the Expert Belt to make super effective moves, deal more damage, alongside Protect, Ice Beam, Leaf Storm, and Muddy Water for our moveset. Middle left is going to be Metagross. And like I said, Metagross is super, super strong with that weakness policy. If you could Dynamax him and get that weakness policy proc, he can pretty much just sweep teams to roll off of that because normally he's pretty bulky. So just give him that attack boost. He's bulky and he can hit hard. Is there a better combo than that? I don't really think so. I do not really think so. We got Clear Body as its ability, Weakness Policy as an item like I mentioned, and then we got Protect, Iron Head, Stomping Tantrum, and Rock Slide for this thing's amazing moveset. Middle right is going to be Swampert. You don't get to see much of Swampert, but I feel like Swampert is such a good back-end Pokemon on any single team. It's got the Torrent ability alongside with Citrus Berry as an item, and its moveset it's Rock and Ish Protect, Stealth Rocks, which isn't bad if you can get a free turn to set that up, and then Liquidation and High Horsepower for our two stab moves. Bottom left hand corner is going to be the Life Orb Rayquaza, our first restricted mod on the team with that airlock ability alongside with that Life Orb, like I've been mentioning. Then he has Protect, Hurricane, Fire Blast, and Thunder. Great coverage moveset, and he's going to be a great Pokemon in the Dynamax form. The one problem I do have with him is he's not rocking a Dragon Move. Like, how do you have a Rayquaza without a Dragon Move? It's not like we have other Pokemon with Dragon Move on the team. We have no Dragon Moves. I would love to have him with that Dragon Move because Max Worm win in Dynamax form is so, so strong, especially now that Zassi is such a huge strat. But other than that, I'm liking Rayquaza. Cannot wait to use him. Cannot wait to Dynamax him and get some big KOs with him. Final Pokemon on the squad, Kyogre. One of the best Pokemon for Series 12. Just super, super strong. Outspeeds pretty much everything, especially with his Choice Scarf. and just does massive amount of damage. We got Drizzle to set the rain. Choice Scarf as our item. And then Thunder, Water Spout, Origin Pulse, and Ice Beam for a fairly normal moveset for any Kyogre. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, do I even have to say it? Month of Code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Generation 3 team. Battle number one coming at you guys. Let's look to get this video started off on a strong note. We're going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex team alongside with the Abelta. And then he has Rillaboom, uh, Thunderous, or no, Landorus in that Therian form. Is that how you pronounce it? I think it's Therian form. And then he has Incineroar and Regilecki. How should we go into this one? How should we play? Yabelta poses such a threat onto the Metagross to why, making me not want to even bring him. I think I'm going to go Kyogre and maybe Ludicolo for lead. Like he has, oh, dude, the Rillaboom. The Rillaboom is definitely scaring me. We do not like Rillaboom one bit. We do not like Rillaboom one bit. So we're going to have to get rid of Rillaboom before we can really do it. So maybe Rayquaza could be good. Rayquaza alongside with Ludicolo? Could be solid. It could be solid. Or do we lead the Swamper? Maybe set up a Stealth Rock. Definitely could be good. I'm, I don't know. Uh, hmm. Tough news for us. This is tough. It's going to be a tough one for us. I might lead the Ludicolo here. Go so Ludicolo. Do I bring the Metagross? Oh, dude, you felt this is going to double us. I'm going to bring Swamper and I'm going to bring Kyogre. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. This one's going to be a tough one for us. Definitely going to be a tough one. I feel like he counters everything. Like, you felt that he's obviously bringing Real Boom. He's definitely bringing It's just like, mm. it's so tough for us. And he also has the Regilecki, man. He also has the Regilecki. Tough, tough battles for us. Tough, tough battles for us to get it started. But hopefully we can get it. But guys, let me know for question of the day down in the comment section down before this battle even starts. Your favorite Generation 3 Pokemon. If you have multiple, if you have one, let me know in the comment section down below. Because we are using a Gen 3 team. For me, personally, I love Sceptile. Uh, what is my other two? Breloom, love Breloom, and Sharpedo. Those are my top three in any order. They're just so cool. They're just so cool all around. We're going to lead this Rayquaza alongside with uh, Ludicolo. And I might Dynamax Ludicolo. Do I might just Dynamax Ludicolo? The ice is definitely posing a big thing. We go for the fire blast. 
could flare. I could go for the flare and I could. Hmm. This is tough. This is real tough because ice is just doing me dirty. Ice is just doing me dirty. I think I'm going to flare. I think I'm going to flare. Alongside with a leaf storm, try to take this thing out. What do I do? I'm going to flare. I'm going to flare here. And I guess I'll muddy water. I guess I'll muddy water. I know that the flare is coming out here, but airlock's out, so that's great. That, that's just fine. It will not neglect any of the water damage. Okay, so we're gonna die next year. We're gonna get rolling here. Hopefully, this boy's protected. Hopefully, he's not protected. Because I would have loved to go into a worm win if we had a dragon move. Just drop that thing's attack. Because the ice is just. It's terrifying. It is terrifying. So we're hoping he's not gonna dynamax. And we're just gonna dump on this thing. We're gonna hope he's not protecting or dynamaxing. Think I'll come through? Ouch. Ouch. Maybe he's trying to pop a trick room. Let's see. Flash and poke you. Can we KO this thing? We are life orb. It's gonna be a big KO for us. Get him out of here. Oh my lord, no way. No way we don't KO. No way we don't KO. Luty Cold Flushes, no trick room, no trick room. Ah! E! This game, man, we're done. We're, we're dead. We're dead all day. We gotta guard. Uh, we gotta guard. We have to guard and we have to go for a muddy water. And take out that god dang thing because he's just gonna go for a glacial lance to do some big damage on my Pokemon. There it is. Ludicolo probably not eating this up. Bye, Ludicolo. Dodge it. Nope. <gasps> Ludicolo, you ate. Muddy Water. Connect onto Calyrex. Who dodged it? Hit Calyrex. Just hit Calyrex. That's all I'm asking for. Hit Calyrex. Take him out. Let's go, Ludicolo. All day, baby. That's all we need. That's all we need. So that's a huge KO for us. Oh my god, yo. Ludicolo, I love you. Party shots can come out here and we block it and we block it. It's a great sight. That's a great sight right there. Blocking that party shot and a huge max guard. Okay. So I feel like if we can waste out a lot of these tricking turns, we get Kyogre in the back end with that choice scarf and kind of do a lot of do a lot of work. But he's gonna bring out Yvelta here, and in this case, I gotta drop a big old lightning on this thing, and we gotta get rolling. And we have to get rolling here. So lightning coming out. He's probably just gonna party shot in the me again. And do I ice beam? He's gonna dynamax. He's gonna dynamax. I'm not even gonna. I'm gonna ice beam. We're going for it. Because he's parting shotting and he's gonna dynamax, right? It's gotta be his calls all day. He does not dynamax. He go, we go first. We ice beam. Drop it on him. Give me a freeze. Give me something good here. Give me a freeze. Give it to me, baby. All day. Nope. Parting shot. There's the parting shot. And we're gonna be able to max lightning still on this thing. Which is good. Good thing we're gonna get a crit here. Hopefully get a crit. <laughs> he drops my special attack and my physical attack. And he's gonna show his final Pokemon. Which is definitely not Calyrex. So we dumped on that thing. We had a huge max guard, but that was a great guard by me. You know, throw out his last mod, which is going to be little boom, and this thing is terrifying. Oh, good thing I'm changing up the terrain. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, I'm changing up the terrain with the uh, electric move. That's beautiful. That is just lovely. So we just fake out ready to roll yet again. We just fake out ready to roll yet again. So we're going to get off some big damage here. Take him out. Beautiful. So now we cannot swap. Rillaboom. He cannot swap Rillaboom, so he cannot get this terrain change unless he Dynamaxes. Unless he Dynamaxes, which he's probably going to Dynamax Rillaboom. Oh, dude, that's lovely. That is lovely, Jeans. That is lovely, yo. Rayquaza clutching up right here. Huge max guard from us. Actually, Ludicolo technically clutched up because we did not pick up that uh, KO. Then uh, we would we would have been in some trouble, man. We would have definitely been in some trouble. He's going to bring back out into the room. He's going to fake me out to KO me, and I'm just going to go for an airstream here just to boost my speed. My airstream to boost the speed is probably the call here. Try to do some damage onto the roll boom because we'll, oh wait, that was our last turn Dynamax. Never mind. So we cannot actually we can just go for a fire blast. Or I could hard swap. Just to get rain and have hurricane hit hundred percent. It'd be a good play. It'd definitely be a good play. But you know what? I'm gonna go for this fire blast. I'm gonna go for his fire blast and I could protect. Which I am gonna do. Because we know he's gonna fake me out. We just know he's gonna fake me out. He might double fake out. He might double fake out. And nope, there's Dynamax. So Dynamax is gonna fly here. That's totally fine. Totally fine. I am okay with that. Jeans is okay with that. All day. 
And there's a Roman. So we gotta get off some good old damage on the Roman. Good old damage on the Roman. So G Max Roboom comes out here with his giant drum set. Looking to do some drum solos here. And we're gonna go first by protecting. So protect comes out. He has to be faking on my looting call, right? Yeah. Fake out comes out. We block it. Can my Rayquaza eat up whatever this thing I saw? For? I think he can. G Max jumps on. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's easy, Soaks, remember. Easy, so all day, dude. So this guy is just in like a last ditch effort kind of situation. Fire Blast comes out here and it connects. Look at that damage. We do have airlock, so it's not doing as much as we wanted to, but maybe we get a burn here. No burn. We're gonna go for another Fire Blast. Another Fire Blast coming in here, and I think we just go straight for Muddy Water, or do we double down into this Roll Boom? I think we just double down into this Roll Boom. I'm not really too worried about the Incineroar. Roll Boom, I really want to just double down into. Ice Beam flies here. Give me a freeze. Freeze this dude. Freeze him all day. No freezes. Max Strikes can come through here. He's gonna try to lower our speed. This is again, this is just the last ditch effort for him. Max Strikes gonna do a little bit more damage, but we still have our boys thriving here. Did I even pull out another Pokemon? Or was this my lead? Are we sweeping right now? Fire Blast misses. God dang it, Rayquaza. It was due for a miss anyway. He's gonna Flare Blitz. That's gonna take me out all day. The Flare Blitz gonna definitely take me out. Oh, he's gonna have to loot call. It's fine. We thrive with that. Yo, look at look at Robum up there just. Chill with the drums. Look at the smack of the drums, dude. Doom, ch, doom, ch, doom, ch, doom. Boom, 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 boom. Trick room's gone. Uh, we're gonna bring out Lovely Boy here. We're gonna bring out my dude right here. And in this case, we're gonna drop Hurricanes. We're just gonna finish off this one. It's GG's. Get him out of my game. Get him out of my face. This is GG's. We're gonna say bye bye to these both of these Pokemon. <laughs> Hurricane's gonna go over to you. And we're just going to rock out with a water spout. We have full speed advantage right here. We're thriving. I'm with it all day. Water spout. Yeah. Right. Later. Later into the war. And we almost pick up the KO onto Roboom, but that's why we double down with the Rayquaza. That's GG's. Rayquaza might go next. We're on minus one. Nope. He's just going to go for a solo. And my poor Kyogre is going to die. My poor Kyogre. But hey, he came in there. We waited out for the back end. Got his big KO. And Rayquaza definitely clutching up this battle. Definitely clutching up. And there it is, guys. Hurricane should land here. Built. Later, stab. He was only on like 10. And we pick up a win. There it is, guys. 1 and 0 for today's video. Let's go hop into our second. Try to showcase the team a little bit more and go back to back. It's time to go back to back, ladies and gentlemen. We're going up against a Cinder Race, Kai Ogre, and Shadow Rider Catholic team. And I think I featured a team similar to this on the channel before. So I know it's very, very strong. He also has the Whimscott, the Indeedy for Surge Control and Terrain Control. And then last but not least, Regilecki for Speed Control. Okay. How should we do this one? How should we play it? I feel like Metagross could be solid here alongside with Sableye. I really do like that for some reason. We can quash. We can proc policy. We can sucker punch on the Shadow Rider Catholic. I just like that all around. So I'm going to lead them to. I'm going to bring Rayquaza. And I think I just bring Kai Ogre in the back. Right? With that choice scarf, he's super, super strong. Super, super strong. So I'm liking this. I think that was a quick pick for us. Let's lock it in. Lock it down. Let's do win ourselves. Battle number two. This could be good. Because if he does lead the Shadow Rider Calyrex, like I said, I could just get after that thing with a big old sun. But if he doesn't, I can proc policy. I can quash. I can kind of get after the battle that way. So I am liking it. I am liking it a lot. But I do think he's going to lead maybe like Scott or something along those lines. We shall see. We shall see. DD could definitely come into play. But he has a lot of different options. You can go in with Kyogre with the speed control, Shadow Rider with the speed control, Cinderace with the speed control. You can just go in with any of the three heavy hitters, Kyogre, Shadow Rider, Caldex, or Cinderace, alongside with Indeedy. Or you can just lead Regilecki with Indeedy or Regilecki with Cinderace. Like I said, a lot of options. Like, I'm looking at his team. He has so many different options he could play off. Whereas our team's like, okay, he has a few options. You can go Ludico, Kyogre. You can go Metagross, Sableye. Those are my two main but we'll see what this guy does. I feel like we have a good shot to win this battle. I'm hoping we go back to back. Because you know, whenever we go back to back, we have fun in the third battle. Because we can just do whatever we want and guarantee ourselves a winning record. Which is amazing. It's amazing. He's going to go Regilecki and Wimpscott. And he goes in with both of the speed controllers. Unless this is a life for Regilecki. And in this case, I'm just going to quash it. I think it's going to be my play all day. I think I'm just going to quash Regilecki. I'm just going to drop Quake. Unless he gets swap into a flying Pokemon. But you don't have any. I'm cool with that. I'm gonna quash you. Animax, I could steal spike, get the defense boost, but I just feel like if you're leading Whimsicott with Regilecki, you might swap. Or you might Dynamax. And dude, if he Dynamaxes and we quash him, that could be beautiful. Mwah, that could be beautiful. Let's see. I Dynamax, okay. I indeed do the Dynamaxes. It's not Dynamax. I wonder what he's going for. Maybe some E webs. We cannot get minus speed, which is great. On our, at least on our Metagross. And. Wimscott's pretty much pranks it up all around. Well, not Wimscott, uh, Sableye. 
Yes, Sucker Punch. Foul Play is the only one that's really affecting us. But if this thing pokes out a Focus Sash, then we're just going to get after him that way. He's going to end up going for a Protect. I'm cool with that. We'll take the Special Defense boost all day. The Quash does nothing. And this thing sets up a Talon. This thing sets up a lovely little Talon. So Speed's going to come out quash across here. Uh, we're going to Quash. And maybe he thinks we're going to Quash again. He's going to drop this level. How much damage are we really going to do? I'm at Proc Policy here. Also big damage. Sucker Punch might be able to take that out. Sucker Punch might be able to take that out. It'll be kind of close. It'll definitely be kind of close. Do I do it? Definitely gonna Sucker Punch. I'm gonna go for a Steel Spike here as well. See if this thing's Rock and Sash. I don't think Regilecki's Rock and Sash. I think Wimscott has a Sash. If that's the case, I'll just Sucker Punch it. Like, <laughs> I can just keep dropping it. See what's playing here. You can go for the Helping Hand. Okay, I'm cool with that. It's a, if Sucker Punch takes it out, this could be beautiful. Sucker Punch comes through. Sableye, do it. You got the black glasses on too. Get him. Oh, so close. Sharon's going to poke here. And that's easy. Any procs by policy. We love to see it. We love it. That's just lovely. That's just lovely. So hopefully this thing's not sad so we can bring out another Pokemon. That'd be good. Oh, when Regilecki dies to life form damage. That's beautiful. So Wimscott is definitely Sash. Wimscott is definitely Sash. This is actually really good for us because now we're bulked up on defense and special defense. Uh... We can quash the next Pokemon. Oh, he's not Sash. Yo, we love it. We love it. He's not Sash. Wow. That's beautiful. We love it. But since we have another turn left, we have defense bulk. We can quash whatever Pokemon, waste out another Tailwind turn, and get off some big damage with it all day. Yo, he's not Sash. Wow, neither of them. I've been sitting here worrying about one of them being Sash, but neither of them are Sash, which leads me to think Shadow Rider Calyrex is a Sash Pokemon, right? Shadow Rider Calyx. And if he has it, I'm just going to Sucker Punch, Sucker Punch, Sucker Punch. He's going to go into Cinderace here. And, oh, did I quash that? Oh, he doesn't have Shadow Rider. He has Kyogre. He has Kyogre. Which leads me to wanting to quash that thing. I have to quash one of them. I like to play here is just quash Cinderace. Get rid of that thing. Cinderace might be the Dynamax mod. Who else do we have in the back? A very Quasa with Thunder. Do dig it. And we have our choice Scarf Kyogre with Thunder. So yeah, I'm going to Quash Cinderace. And do a Quake. He could change to an Airstream guy. But no, we're, we're Quashing him, so Quake is definitely in play. Where do we Rockfall? What's better? Do we change up the weather? I'm thinking of changing up the weather until my Kyogre comes back out here, right? No, I'd rather get the Special Defense Boost. Special Defense Boost is just really, really good. Sucker Punch comes in. And he's going to change his typing. That's fine. Wow, Quash came out before that. And Sucker Punch, we should be able to eat up, right? Yeah, we bulked. We're bulked. He's not Dynamax. Wow. Quash can come out here. It's going to do nothing. He's going to go for Water Spout. Kai or Metagross should be able to eat that. Sableye, no. Yeah, Sableye doesn't. Metagross does. Huge turn for us because Cinderace should die out here. Should die out here. Later. Later, pup. Later, pup. Even though you changed typing, Joe. We are weak this policy. Mwah. Beautiful. I'm surprised he didn't Dynamax. I seen Dynamax. We get the crit. We didn't even need it. No Dynamax from our boy yet. No Dynamax from our boy. That's GG's. That's GG's. We'll bring out Rayquaza. We'll start dropping some Thunders that are not going to miss here. And then we can eventually bring out Kyogre, who can drop more Thunders, which aren't going to miss. <laughs> I'm pretty sure both of these guys will outspeed. Actually, no. He's Tailwind. Unless Tailwind just ended. Airlock is gone, too. And Airlock works for us. Cool, cool, cool. Is Tailwind still a thing? Is he still out and about with Tailwind? I wouldn't like that one bit. Still have Tailwind? He does. So I could play it smart. Which I am going to do. I'm going to play it smart. I'm not, I'm not going to risk losing this match. I'm just going to double protect and waste out this Tailwind turn. Yeah, yeah. He ain't Dynamax. He, he's looking for that Water Spout with his Tailwind. He might Dynamax next turn. That might be that might be a stall process here. Get off a of Water Spout. Take out Metagross. Deal some damage onto Kyogre. Or not Kyogre. Onto Rayquaza. Just go from there. So smart play by me. I actually double protect here. Waste out his uh, Tailwind turns. And now we can roll out and deal some damage onto him. Later, Tailwind. Later, Tailwind. We're going to drop our Thunder. And then we can just drop our... Uh, what would be better? What would be better? This move has more accuracy. So I'm going to roll out with this. I am going to roll out with this. See Dynamax now? Definitely see it happen. I can definitely see it happen. But both my Pokemon pose is such a huge threat. A Life Force Pokemon with a super effective shot. And a Weakness Policy Pokemon. Ready to rock. Ready to go. So let's see. This guy's thinking he's going to Dynamax. He does not Dynamax. Wow, dude. This guy's just like refusing to Dynamax. Does he know that Dynamax is a, is a thing? Thunder comes out here, brings this thing down to the red. 
He's probably gonna go for another water spell. He does. My Metagross should be able to eat this up. He's low HP. All day. GG's Metagross. Take him out. Get him out of here, dude. We're not dealing with this thing. We're not dealing with this thing. And there it is, guys. 2-0. and oh. We guaranteed ourselves a winning record. Let's go grab ourselves a perfect record in battle number three. Third and final battle coming at you guys. We're looking for that perfect record for the Jeans Online Gaming Community, maybe. Looking for it for you guys. Going up against a tough one. Cannot guarantee you guys nothing here because this one's looking real tough. He's got the Shadow Rider Calyx, the Rillaboom, which just absolutely counters my Kyogre and my Swampert. And then he has the uh, Incineroar, Regilecki, G-Max Lapras, and Zacian. Okay. Um, Say bye. Gotta come in here. Gotta come in here. We need first turn priority. We need Quashes. We need that sucker punch for the Shadow Rider Calyx. And I feel like Metagross is just such a good lead here. So I think I'm going to double down with them too. And then bring my, bring my boys again. I'm liking the squad. We're locking in and we're locking it down. I'm with it all day long. All day long. Lock it in, lock it down. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. But yeah, if we lose this one, we lose this one. It's no big deal. As long as we don't get swept. Because you guys know. If you guys have been watching for a while, you guys know. I have two rules on this channel. Not three. Not zero. Not one. But two rules. Rule number one. We don't go 0-3 in a video. We do not go 0-3 in a video. Rule number two. We do not get swept here on the channel. Two rules. Two and only rules on here. Okay? No going 0-3 in a video and no getting swept in a video. So we just can't get swept here. He goes Regilecki alongside with Zacian. I could quash and get after it. I could indeed quash these Pokemans. I think I just quash and Zacian. Just, you know, just wake it into that thing. I could, could throw a burn onto it. Could indubitably, indubitably throw a burn onto it. I don't think it's just saying, hey, yo, let's quash this boy. Let's get after him with a quake. See how much damage we can do. All right. I'm with that, yo. I love quash. Quash is so good. <laughs> it's so good. Maybe Regilecki protects. Maybe Regilecki swaps. Knowing that most medic roses roll out with a ground type moves, stopping tantrum. Could be good for us. Could definitely be good for us. So if I could just, you know, have Regilecki do his own thing, maybe swap and protect. We could just blood into this Zacian and just get after it. The Max Quake looks so cool. It's just like burrows underground. Do, 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 pop. Slaps up on him. I think Max Quake's one of the cooler looking uh Dynamax moves. They all look cool, but I really do like that one. He's gonna Okay. He's going Dynamax Reggie. He's Dynamax and Reggie. Reggie's getting a Dynamax. It's kinda scary, yo. Reggie's scary, man. Dynamax and Reggie's scary. Probably orb. Probably full on orb here. Which I think Metagross can just eat up a full-on Max Lightning. Could be good for us. Could definitely be good for us. Could be lovely for us. Lovely, lovely. But we're going to quash up on Zassian. There's no way Zass. If Zassian protects, I might cry a little bit. You guys might see me cry. Tears might just be start flooding down my face. Keen's just going to cry. It's going to be a rough time. Rough time. <laughs> but we're going to Dynamax our lovely Metagross yet again because he's just phenomenal with Dynamax. Really, really good with that weakness policy. Uh, let's see what he does here. There's nothing. So our quash, our quash plan is in effect. So we quash him. Red's like he's going to go. He's just going to drop a dark. Ooh, Ooh that's not going to kill me. That's just going to proc my policy, baby. That's just going to proc my policy. <laughs> we love it. We're going to say, hey, yo, Zassian, get on out my game. So now I can actually quash the Reggie Lucky. We looking good. Good start for us. Zassian, dude, I'm so sorry I have to do this for you, but I'm going to burrow under the ground right here and give you the slap skis, dude. Look at this. Burrow, burrow, burrow. Tunnel, tunnel, tunnel. Bop. Later. Later. Nothing's better than getting a Zassian off the field. When you get a Zassian off the field, it's so much relief off yourself. You're just like, dude, thank God I don't have to worry about that Pokemon. Because that Pokemon can one-tap anything. It can kill anything in one shot. It's too strong. It's way too strong. So now we can Kawash Regilecki, but I, or I could protect the Max Guard coming out from it. Really depends who he brings out here. If he brings out somebody that can actually KO my, uh, my, uh, Metagross? I mean, we won't even really have to quash this thing. He brings out Shadow Rider Calyrex. I'm, I'll be happy with that. Then I'll Sucker Punch and I'll just let my Metagross go for a Quake on its own. Imagine like he shouldn't be able to take him out. Especially with that special defense boost. And he does go Calyrex, yo. We love it. We love it, dude. Gen 3 team is buzzing. We buzzing. Okay. So no, we're not allowed to eat berries. Good thing none of these guys have berries. And we're just going to rock straight into a Sucker Punch here. Sucker Punch coming out here, and we're just going to Quake. We're plus one on the special defense. I feel like we should be able to eat up whatever Regilecki has to offer. Calyrex, if I had to guess, is rocking the Focus Sash. So I think uh, Sableye does bring it down the Focus Sash if we do get off of something. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what this play is here. Sucker Punch flies through it. Yeah. The damage. The damage. We bring him down to the Focus Sash. That's lovely. 
the damage. Sableye's just here posing threats all day. He's gonna go for dar darkness over on Sableye. Go to Sableye. No, he goes for its Metagross. And we eat that. And we're just hoping that, uh... That my boy Metagross can actually eat up this Calyrex shot. Probably not now. Our special defense is down. I forgot that Max Shark just drops us. Astro Barrage, eat it up. Free focus, Sash. We get a Sash. We get a free. Hey, we get a free. Hey, we get a free. Hey, we get a free. Focus, Sash. That wins us the game. Hey, that wins us the game. Hey, that wins us the game. Hey, yo, let's go. Let's go. Reg's like, get on out of here. Get on out of here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now we just bring in our choice scarf, Kyogre. He's going to be able to outspeed. He's going to be able to slap, slap, slap. Slap up on these fools. That's GG's. Get this fool out of my game. Yo, I'm sorry. I got the free focus, Ash. I feel bad. Because I know, I know dang well, for sure. If that happened to me, I'd be crying. I'd be a little baby about it. <laughs> you guys know. I'd be complaining about it 100%. But if you guys been watching for a long time, it's been a long time coming for me to get some free focus ashes because there's been times where it's been back-to-back -back videos where just multiple focus ashes are poking out here. Oh, God. He brings out you. Son of a biscuit. <laughs> he brings out this thing. Brings out this thing. I don't know if we won the game. <laughs> I don't know if we won. I think we have to let this thing drop out. That's tough. This is tough. It is tough. It's tough. It's so tough. Uh, I don't know what to do. I'm just going to go for a rock fall. Just sheer fact this we could change weather with that. But both my Pokemon are dead here. Oh, he fakes me out. He fakes me out. Did I just do a celebration? Did we just do like a win celebration and we might lose this one? I'm terrified. We lost. We lost! We lost. We lost. We lost. There's no way we win this. We cannot protect Kyogre. Two Astro Brashes will take out Rayquaza all day. He outspeeds me. This is awful. I'm guessing I have to take out Calyrex here, right? I have to take out Calyrex. We lost. We lost. We lost. We lost. We lost. Please do like zero damage somehow. Please. Maybe. Hopefully. We lost. How did we lose? Bruh. I did a whole celebration just to lose. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I deserved that one. We did a huge celebration. The bands were playing. We, we made a song and everything. We deserved to lose that battle. We celebrated way too early. Way too early. We should have known that a Calyrex on 1 HP is unstoppable. Alongside with a Rillaboom and Grassy Glide up against Kyogre in the back end. It's just unstoppable. It really is. Like, there was nothing we could have done to change the, the outcome of that after that. Once I saw the Rillaboom come out, I was like, no way. I was just like, dude, Calyrex outspeeds everything. It's over with. It is GG's. It is GG's. And that's exactly what happened. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.